Hello everyone, back to tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. 40 days, second video. So, day 10 takes us to the 16th of October, and we'll be able to extend our beyond that with the Accenture FS and ECM Ensembles. They are running to around a good week. Have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks. Gets us, I think, to the start of November. And as I'm recording the video quite late, we will also have a look at 12Z as well. Now, we should just have a live stream discussing the first. Third winter 2025-26 uh, update and have a look at 12Z um, today uh, or this evening at 7pm. I'm late recording the video. I have been very good. I've been offline most of the day uh, and you know, limiting screen time. So uh, I thought it was more important to get a 10 to 14 day video done really as we didn't do one. Uh, yesterday, just released winter update, so I've definitely got to get a 10 to 14 day video done. Means live stream will be tomorrow at 7 pm, so a very rare and unusual Tuesday live stream. Not sure, not sure if I've ever live streamed on a Tuesday. Possibly I have, I'm sure I have at some point or other, but uh, very unusual for me to be streaming on a Tuesday. But uh, we'll try it out anyway, so it works tomorrow. So we'll be discussing the um, the uh, the third winter update. Sorry. And we'll discuss the third week to update tomorrow at 7pm uh, live. And uh, that's going to be an interesting stream. Okay, let's have a look then at the National Hurricane Centre. So we've got one interest area, this red X just here, that disturbance one. And um, that's got a 70% chance of cyclone formation in the next seven days. That could well become our next tropical storm and or hurricane. We'll keep you updated. Latest weather map from Earth, NordSchool.net shows that high pressure is building into the south with low pressure out towards Iceland and there's a weather system uh, through here as well. So it's only drier in the south but more unsettled still out to the north. That high pressure will be increasingly influential as the week goes on. Central in temperature is currently sitting at 13.2, that's 2.7 degree above 61 to 90 on the average, and in provisional to uh, yesterday to the 5th of October. These were GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles that come from London today. The red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for London. So it's off above average with your upper air temperature at the moment. We're going to come down close to normal, but generally around or a little bit above average anyway, uh, right way through to the third week of October. And check this out completely dry now uh, for at least the next 10 days, possibly even more than that. We do get some precipitation spikes right at the very end, but I mean, it's a really long way off and therefore unreliable time frame stuff. You look at that, you will think we're heading for a dry October. After wet September. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind about that, let's move on. But if you know, you know. Right, so, uh, temperature anomalies for the next uh, five days, 11th of October. A little bit above our central northern areas. Uh, down in far southwest, so it looks a little bit cooler than ours, so that's a strange anomaly. <coughs> Oh, sorry, one ten to fourteen day uh, temperature anomaly is near normal. Precipitation anomalies for the next uh, seven days from the thirteenth of October uh, drier than average. Eight to fourteen day is also drier than normal. Right, let's start going for chart data. Um, by the way, did I mention we're probably going to be able to look at twelve then. You had a video or something anyway. Uh, as uh, I'm quite late doing this uh, recording, coming up at 6 p.m. Uh, right, okay, so UK Met, first of all, low pressure north, high pressure south, bringing a westerly flow uh, with winds in from the west. First thing, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, check this out. High pressure takes over from a high pressure fest there with the UK Met. Probably relatively uh, pleasantly warm by day. Could be a bit chilly and misty, of course, given the lateness of the year by night. I kind of get building high pressure in strongly through the end of week and into the weekend we're very much high and dry 1035 millibar and it's high pressure taking over so a proper old anti-cyclone there uh the kma looks like this with high pressure again building in nicely as uh, we're going through next week bringing lots of dry fire weather we're probably relatively warm by day it could be chilly uh, by night with mist and fog patches and whatnot no i press stick around all the way up towards uh, day 10 or even beyond day 10 actually again we're high and dry so uh after that understand september pattern looks like we're going back to um the anti-cyclonic pattern Anti-cyclonic pattern has dominated much of the year. Interesting. 
interesting. Right, with GFS, well, that again, building my high pressure strongly over the uh, end of week and into weekend. Next week, since high pressure maintained over top of the country as well, that takes us all the way up to and beyond date um, high pressure into trial. That's the 18th of October. By signs then, uh, signs by then, of high pressure started to go into a retrograde, retrograde and low pressure developing uh, underneath it. That low pressure eventually moves northwards, bringing probably some pretty wet weather into the south. At the same time, the high pressure over Greenland pulls down a colder uh, northerly flow, so turning colder and more unsettled here at the end end of the uh, uh, GFS big dike run. Of course, we're talking about a couple of weeks away, though, so it's therefore unreliable. And the six head in comparison, again, that large anticyclone right at the top of the country, all the way through to the beginning of uh, next week. Day 10, high pressure Scandinavia, low pressure out to the west, winds drawing up from a southerly, southeasterly uh, direction, then. No, northerly with the uh, GFS 6 Center, but it does show high pressure eventually retrograding a little bit towards Greenland and uh, Iceland there. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for doing that. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this sound or my videos and content. And don't forget to tell friends about cows over there and get subscribed to. Thanks so much for doing that. About first subscribers gets us to uh, uh, 20.6k. 20.6k, the figure of stuff, that'd be awesome, thank you so much. GM, again, high pressure, moving in strongly up the end of the week, knocking around the country, and right over the top of the country, into the weekend, and lastly, into the early part of uh, next week as well. That takes all the way to day 10, when we are high and dry. And then the ECM rounding it all off with high pressure again in control in the ascendancy through weekend, lasting into next week as well. Eventually, by day 10, bit of a hint of, a, of high going into retrograde, trying to push up towards Greenland. And Iceland does that open the door. It's going to be a bit colder. Not really well. But it's a cold shot that's plunged down through Scandinavia. We are very much on the periphery of that. As we uh, use Yarmo. So that's going down through the North Sea. High pressure is going to go a little bit further in that direction to open the door. To those northern winds. Of course, got to watch out for low pressure running underneath the block. And that could then turn, if it did, that could turn into cold and wet water pattern. Which is where the ECM ends up on the 21st of October. Very much hinting at, at low pressure starting to ride underneath, roll in and ride in underneath the block. And that uh, brings some, uh, you know, very uh, cold and wet weather with it, potentially. Especially so to the south. Right, this is a precipitation, that's a long way off, this is a precipitation forecast based on it, each and run, from the it's not completely dry over the uh, next few days, but uh, the trend is a drying one, some rain up in north, northwest, by the weekend, then we're under that anticyclone, and we are more or less totally high and dry then. These are on top of the table with the ECM on top of day 4, day 10, get 16th of October, 51 out of 51 members of the ECM on top of all of them, with high pressure sitting over and to the north, country winds coming in the northeasterly uh, direction, so mostly dry, but could be a little bit chilly uh, with that, the coldness of the air is of course away to our east through here, um, but we could import some cooler air into that and cyclone, but in two weeks time, uh, this is the option that we've got. And it gets us to the 21st of October, 51 out of 51 members of the East Central Solomons, all of them with a block around Greenland, a trough to our east. That's going to open the door to some cooler or even colder air from the north, from the northeast. There's below the Atlantic that could come in underneath the, uh, underneath the block and bring some very wet weather as well. And that will be particularly so down to the south. That could well evolve into a very wet and also quite cold pattern but of course it's long way off it's two weeks away but you know quite well supported all members of the east ensembles going in that direction cfsb2 finally these are 500 millibar height anomalies they're broken down to week periods the first week period takes us from these uh six which is 12th of october high pressure dominating the weather this week we're back to high pressure and high pressure control for week two as well so this is the 13th to the 19th of october 
high pressure is towards Greenland and Iceland. And around about we bring the wind in from an easterly direction. So probably turning a bit cooler and about high pressure, but still mainly dry. Week three <laughs> will be the uh, 20th to the 26th of October. Block around Greenland, but also reach down towards Spain. Low pressure in the Atlantic. So despite blocking around Greenland, that's probably going to start getting wind back into a milder uh, southerly southwesterly direction. And then we end up looking like that for week four, which is going to be the 27th of uh, October to the 2nd of November. Still blocking around Greenland. Um, no, probably mostly dry and chilly with that, I would have thought. Chuffing over northeastern Europe. So most of the cold air is going into the north and northeast of Europe um, with that. So, but uh, probably a bit chilly and about high pressure. Certainly could be frost and fog, I would have thought. Uh, and, uh, yeah, but I've really moving over to the southeast side of Europe as well. Uh, rather strange, uh, CFS today. Right, let's have a look at 12, then, as much of it as we can do, and then we're done. So, we'll start off with UK Met uh, Euro, 72 hours, and neighbor of a hover. So, high pressure building in through course of uh, the weekend and into next week the high pressure will be maintained as we know icon again going in the same direction building in that large anti-cyclone high pressure taking over there with uh, the icon run as well to the 14th of october that's next tuesday uh, GFS looks like that. So once again, high pressure taking over at the end of week and into uh, weekend as well. Uh, that gets us 330 hours. Signs of heights begin to push up towards Greenland, but still really high pressure is dominated weather to the 20th of October. Prolonged dry spell setting up. And then the GM rounds it all off. And again, we have high pressure take over and dominating the weather dominate dominating the weather i love that word dominate 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 dominating the weather <laughs> through uh the end of week into the weekend and all the way up to day 10 high pressure maintained prolonged dry anti-cyclonic spell setting up there Right, so how long high pressure lasts? Well, we'll keep you updated over the next few uh, days, of course, at Gasworthy's with our 10 to 14 days, so time will tell. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for supporting me, Matt. Drop a comment, let us know what you about. It's all my videos content. And don't forget to tell friends about Gasworthy's. Get subscribed to the show, show everyone for doing that. That first subscribe gets us to 20.6k, so please give us a sub. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much. Love it. Right, tomorrow, we're going to set the same UK weather forecast. Now, I'm not sure if we'll do a 10 to 14 day video tomorrow or whether we'll do that with the live stream 10 to 14 day live stream and discuss the winter update so just watch your space on that we will be live at 7 p.m uh tomorrow i'm gonna to put those sarahs in there i set them down tonight and uh, they'll be good to go or i'll be good to go uh tomorrow so red choose live stream 7 p.m i'll see you then in the meantime you enjoy the rest of your Monday evening and that's all now thanks for watching